Hey guys! Beginning in 1957, the body of a small boy was found in a box in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Nobody knows what happened. Today, we're going to try to find out. See you on the other side. Hi, honey. Can you hear me okay? Okay. Can you tell me what your name is? Nobody knows your name. Could you tell me what your name is? Okay, I'm just going to call you, I'm just going to call you honey. Is that okay? I can't understand what you're saying. It's like, it's like you're coming from, oh, a radio. And the radio sounds silly. Do you know what a radio is? Can you tell me how old you are or how old you were when you got where you are? Oh, okay. Now, I don't want to ask you any questions that are going to make you feel bad. So, I just wanted to ask you some nice questions. Like, what was your favorite color? And what was your favorite toy to play with? What was your favorite animal? Okay. Now, is there anyone there, any grown up there, who can tell me what happened to you? Thank you so much for coming and trying to explain this for me and answer some questions. Uh, this has always been a big mystery where this poor child came from when he was found. I'm sure you know this, but when he was found, he was completely emaciated in malnutrition. He had all of his hair cut off, or a lot of his hair cut off, giving people the indication that maybe he was being raised as a girl, and he just told me that they called him Kathy. So that also leads this this idea. And I was wondering if you could clarify a few things about him, and maybe you could even tell us what his name, his real name was. And so I was wondering if you could help us out. He seems to trust you. Oh, you have an echo. Um, so I was wondering, can you tell me where he lived before he found himself um, dead in the woods in a cardboard box? Could you tell me where he lived? <laughs> Could you tell me um, who he lived with? Did he live with his parents? Or there was an orphanage, I guess, next to where they found him. Did he live in that orphanage? Or it, someone also said that maybe he was sold to a couple who abused him. Are either of those stories correct? You probably answered this already. I can't understand what you're saying until I play this back. But was he from the area or did someone come a long way to dump his body? Was someone coming from far away? or were they close? Are you related to him in any way? 
Are you in any way related to this child? Is there anything we can do to help him, or even to help you, now that this is ha now that he's on the other side? Did he suffer all his life or only just at the end of his life? Well, I think that that's probably enough for right now. Thank you for explaining this to us and thank you for helping us understand about this boy. I hope you're both happy in your afterlife. Wow, that little boy, and I guess his name is John, has some pretty powerful protectors that love him so, so much. This is going to be the only video I ever do for him. But wasn't that amazing when they were like, he's okay, he's fine, go talk to Shannon, she really needs you. I was so blown away. If you love it, thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, subscribe. And if you are a subscriber, I really love you guys. Thumbs up, hit the bell, and don't forget to click one of the videos down here. Love you guys.